Hey guys, welcome to today's X and Y. Uh, welcome to Pokemon X and Y Wi Fi Battles. I know it's been over a couple weeks I have not uploaded some X and Y Wi Fi Battles. That's because I decided to take a break and I decided to train up more Pokemon. So, today's battle is against my good friend, uh, uh, Umbreon Queen. Um, her team is a Noivern, Talonflame, uh, Sylveon, Braviary, Salmons, and Lapras. I have Blastoise, Haunter. Don't judge me for the Haunter. I am training that. That's why it's in my team. Pyroar, Chestnut, Greninja, and Aerodactyl. So let's uh, play uh, uh, the battle and let's get going. Alright. So I wasn't too sure what she was going to lead with. So I decided to lead with my Blastoise. Just to see what she was going to lead with. And she decided to lead with Lapras. Um, now I know that I can't touch this Lapras. Because I have water moves on it. Except for a couple. But I know it won't be that much. So I decided to go into Chestnut. And see if she would go for the Hydro. But she decided to go for the Parashan Song. Which means it's a good move. And this means I can try to deal off a couple attacks on it. But she's now going to switch out predicting the grass move or my fighting move or something. As I am going to go for the hammer arm, maybe I was expecting that she was going to go for the ice beam or something. She goes into town flame predicting that. That's a really good play, actually. So now she's going to go for the flame charge. I decided to stay in and go for the body slam, hoping I would get paralyzed before the parish in song would wear off and then, like, kill before I had a chance to kill my chestnut. Unfortunately it doesn't paralyze, but it does get some it does get and do some good damage to the town flame. So now I am going to switch down to my blast noise and predict the flame charge. As she is going to get the speed boost right here if I am correct. Yes she does. Um which is kinda bad because I need to take care of the town flame because this is a threat uh, that I need to take care of. So she decides to go for a fly um, I, I you know, I'm gonna go for the Hydro Pump, maybe thinking she would probably go for Grave Bird or something. And then she has me fly. It doesn't do that damn, that much damage to me at all. Since I'm a big beastly tank, and I go for Surf and kill the Talonflame. So now Talonflame is gone and out of the way. Here comes Salmons. I'm like, oh great, is this a Dragon Dance set, or is this a Toy Scarf set? So... I switched out, uh, uh, maybe thinking uh, what she was going to do right, right here, and I decided to go into Saiyan Ninja, predicting like if she was going to go for Dragon Dance on the Switch. But she decided to go for Draco Meteor, which means it will take me down to low HP actually, which is really bad. So I actually brought my Greninja for no fair reason. That's kind of bad actually. And Draco Meteor in this uh, generation, oh my god, looks uh, really amazing actually. So Draco Meteor is one of the best uh, moves I've seen in here so far. I'm hoping Nightmare will look great on Dark Cry. Anyway, I'm going to bring in uh, Dark Demon, which is my Haunter. I miss using uh, my Haunter, to be honest. I thought I was going to die uh, to a Draco Meteor at this point, but I live with 54 HP. Even not turning the highlight, actually. So, I decided to go for Thunderbolt, maybe thinking how much this will do. And it doesn't do that much, actually. So, knowing that she could kill me off right here, if she would kill me off right here, I, my Haunter decided to be a beastly, beastly uh, ghost type and hit uh, with the, with the Will-O-Wisp. I knew that she was going to kill me, but I did not expect to live. I was, I was like, okay, whatever, I'll just hit a random move. And turns out I lived at 9 HP and uh, I managed to pull off the Willis before I died. So I'm actually very impressed that my Haunter managed to get the burn off before it died. <laughs> Kudos to you, Haunter. You're pretty uh, bulky, aren't you? Anyway, I am going to bring in my, my Pyroar. This is a different um, Pyroar I have. This is a GTS one that I uh, got. Or GTS that someone named after my real name, so... I don't feel offended I don't feel someone naming me after my real name. I mean, come on, there's a bunch of vampires in the world. Anyway, um, knowing that she went for the struggle, that means she is twist scarfed or twist banded, uh, 
Waco Meteor said, I guess. I went for the Hyper Voice because I knew from the struggle won't do that much, so I killed off the, you know, the Salamence of the you know, Hyper Voice. And I'm thinking this is the Surf uh, attack that she went on uh, my Chestnut. Uh, I forgot what I switched out there, actually. <laughs> Whatever, I went for the hammer arm on the, on my, on the Lapras, maybe thinking it would kill, but it doesn't, so she goes for the Ice Beam and kills off my Chestnut, so that means I thought I was going to lose the, uh, this battle, but I'm like, wait, I have Aerodactyl, so I decided to go for Earthquake to do uh, the kill off, and if I am very uh, correct, um, I do uh, uh, Mega Evolve the next turn, because... Knowing my luck, she could be running a bulk up, uh, a bulk up thing of Braviary. If she is running the bulk up Braviary, that is really bad because she can plus, uh, uh, she can bulk up maybe three times if she wants to. So I decided to go to Crunch and maybe thinking she would have the bulk up. And turns out she, it looks like she doesn't have the bulk up, which means she's showing me area lights. And I'm like, okay, she doesn't have bulk up yet, so. I don't need to worry about Braviary. The only thing I need to worry is that she does not have the Brave Bird because if she has Brave Bird, that can annihilate my Blastoise. So what I decide here, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try and try to install this thing until it dies, just to make sure it doesn't have Brave Bird or anything threatening. So now that is taken care of. She brings the Sylveon. I don't know what this thing's gonna do, so I decided to switch out. Maybe thinking that she was going for the Moon Blast, or set up a screen. So she decided to go for the Dazzling Gleam, which is kind of weird to see on the Sylveon, actually, because usually we would see Moon Blast, but I'm like, okay, whatever, I'll just go for the Over- Over- Dead. Wow. I failed on that. I go for the Overheat, and I do get a crit. Um, that crit will actually help me get rid of Sylveon, because Sylveon is actually really bulky. Because the attacks you see from my Pyroar will actually won't do that much. It only does like, uh, looking at the damage, it looks like maybe it will do like 10% each attack. So that is really bad actually because her Sylveon is very bulky. Um, right now it's just a war between my Pyroar and my Sylveon. So, I decide now, I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna let her kill me off at this point because I don't see a point of keeping my Pyroar alive because, one, Talonflame is already gone and everything, and two, I have Blastoise and I get air back in. So, I decided to bring in Blastoise and go for the Earthquake kill, knowing this will die either way. Now, she brings in Noivern. I'm like, oh no, it doesn't, I don't have Ice Beam on my Blastoise, that's bad. So, knowing that I would lose faith and lose this battle, because Noivern was the third threat on our team. She had a lot of threats on our team, to be honest. So, knowing me, I would absorb uh, the attack, and I thought it would you know, go down to red HP. Um... My Mega Air Dactyl team, it turns out to be very, very bulky, and I go for the roost, I'm like, oh, okay then, Air um, Aerodactyl, you are must be the bulkiest one I have in my PC box right now. So, right here, I decide to kill off the Noifern with my Mega Aerodactyl, so, if she does take me out, that means I could try to take it out with my with my Blastoise just in case my Mega Aerodactyl does go down. But knowing me, I am going to go for the Crunch, and that will win me the battle. So that was GG. Uh, uh, wow, so many uh, failures of speech problems today. <laughs> wow. But that is GG, Umbreon Queen, um, aka Vanessa. That was actually really good. You had some you know, threats that had me scared, actually. There was Talonflame, no Noivern, Sylveon, Salamence, and Braviary. That's almost like a full team of threats you had there. You did really good, actually. So, as always, check out the playlist down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.